Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun, I'm JT, and we're here in Photoshop today because I had a request to show you guys how I broke down a composite image I made from my shoot back in January at the arcade. And here is the before shot, and here is the after composite, after color correction, and adding these little ghost lights and some lens flares and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So we're gonna start from scratch all the way at the beginning, and we're gonna slowly build up this image and I'll show you guys how I created it. So I wanna add that one of the most important things before you get started with color correction or compositing is to get your base image looking correct. Make sure your white balance looks good, your exposure, your sharpness, everything like that before you get started. And that way your color correction and everything else will look the best that it possibly can. So the first thing I did was add a vignette to this image and I created this vignette layer the same way I do in most of my editing tutorials where I create a new layer, set it to soft light, and I use the gradient tool to drag in black to transparent gradients and just kind of focus your eye towards the center of the portrait. If I turn this layer on and off, you can see that some of the right side over here and some of the left side over here as well as the top and bottom become less distracting. It hides some of these details and you really focus on the model's eyes and face instead of some of the details in this light board over here. So vignettes can be a super useful tool, especially in portrait photography. Now let's take a look at some of our layers here. I'll turn on these ghost layers and you can see these little light guys pop up and they're orange and teal and blue and yellow. And to create these ghosts, what I did while I was shooting, I took a couple pictures of the arcade games and I got some close up pictures of these ghosts with my 50 millimeter lens because I knew I was gonna need them later. So if there are any assets that you know you're gonna need later, make sure you take those couple extra shots. So because the ghosts were on a black background, I set the blending mode from normal to screen, and that basically lets the whites and the highlights come out while hiding the blacks and the shadows so it looks like they're actual lights coming out of the image. So to make these guys look like they're coming in and out at different angles, I went to Edit, Transform, and skew and I use this to skew these ghosts a little bit and add a little bit of perspective so it looks like they're coming towards or away from the camera and they kind of sit somewhere in space and they're not just flat. One of the other things I did was add some lens flares. Now when it comes to lens flares, you can either download some offline using Creative Commons or royalty-free imagery, or you can check out my tutorial on how to create anamorphic lens flares on any camera and just use a flashlight to create your own flares. Now the lens flares had a black background layer, so I set those to screen as well, so just the light pops out. And I had those kind of fill in some of these areas where nothing's going on, or it looks like a light is over in the left-hand corner. Now let's turn on our color correction layer, and you can see this is where I really started to have fun playing with the colors. We'll turn all these off and turn them on one by one. I started here using my cool and lifted LUT. You can find that on my website, which is now live. And for the next layer of color correction, I used a channel mixer layer, which can be found right next to the color lookup, right here in your adjustments, or you can go to window adjustments, and that should pop up right here. And then you can locate channel mixer, and then color lookup is right here for when you want to apply a LUT. So for the specifics of this channel mixer layer, if we open it up, I took my red output channel and I turned it down to 90% and I bumped up the green and the blue just a bit. And for my green channel, I took the green output and I took it from 100 and I slid it down to zero and I took the blue output and I pumped it up to 100. So I basically just switched the blue and the green channels. So right there, it looks pretty cool. And the photo definitely has a futuristic look so far, which I think is pretty cool. But I wanna change this red and green look to more of an orange and teal look. So this is where I took hue and saturation and I moved the hue over a little bit and I even brought down the saturation a touch just because it was so oversaturated. So if we turn that on and off, you can see I just adjusted and shifted the hue over slightly. And for our curves layer, if I turn that on, 
you can see I kept the highlights and I just darkened our shadows in here because they looked a little bit too lifted with my cool and lifted LUT. So if I open our curves, you can see I just pulled down the whole curves layer and that mostly kept the highlights at the values they are and it took those lifted shadows, crushed them down a little bit and added some nice contrast to this image. So if we take our color correction layer and we turn it off, you can see all the color in here and how much we changed it to give it this arcade vibe that I was going for. And I also have a grain layer that I added. And if we really zoom into this image, especially in the flat areas over here, if I turn that off, you can see it's nice and smooth. And if I turn it on, you can see this nice film grain that I added. So that is the final image with the lens flares and the ghosts and all of the color correction. And again, if we take a look at the before image and if we turn all of our layers back on, here is the after after our composite. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And before you leave, be sure to check out my new website at therunninggun.com. It's where I'm hosting all of my new LUTs and presets now in case you guys have been looking for them. They finally have a new home and it is the runninggun.com. I'm also gonna create an arcade LUT out of this look right here. So all you guys have to do is drag and drop it. If you don't feel like creating all of these color correction layers every single time, I will make that LUT available for download. So I will see you guys next week. And until then, get out and go shoot.